So what is personification? Well, there has been lots of cartoons that uh, shows personification. One example, a hot favorite would be this cartoon, Cars. Okay, there is a character, the cars become alive, the car or the truck or whatever becomes alive. Okay, of course in real life, these are non-living things. How can they be alive? They can't. But in the, sto in the uh, uh, cartoon, they are actually able to talk. Okay, able to have their own feeling, able to feel sad, able to feel happy, able to leap. Okay, another one would be this one, Finding Nemo, yeah? Okay, so in Finding Nemo, you'll find that this fish is has a character. It is very forgetful, right? Okay, and then of course Nemo is an ever curious one. Okay, so these are personification, but let me give you concrete examples. Okay, now a, a, a personification, well, it gives human qualities to non-human objects. For example, is this a human object? No, it's non-human. It's a car, right? But the producers of this cartoon have injected human uh, qualities into the car okay so like the stars winked at me are the stars hu uh, do the stars have human qualities is it a human object it's non-living right but the stars can wing what does that mean means the car stars are actually sparkling in the sky ding 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 like it looks as though it's winking to us okay when non-human things act like they are alive the verb shows a human quality like for example, in the last lesson, I talked about the pen dancing. Okay, when he was very confident in his exam, his pen was dancing from question to question. And so the writer has no control over the pen. The pen is the one doing the exam. Okay. Opportunity knocks. I'm sure you've heard this before. Can the opportunity, can opportunity really come and knock at your door? No. Okay. But it is an expression. Okay. The wind whispered through the trees. Can the wind really whisper? No. Okay, so these are actually verbs. Okay, a human kind of uh, uh, work to make this happen. But if you look at all of these, the opportunity, the wind, time creeps up on you, excitement, all these are non-living. Non-living items create doing living uh, actions. Okay, that is called personification. If you can put one or two personification in your story, well, I think it will be fantastic.